Salutations Crustaceans, I'm Lobster, and today we're finally reviewing my Spectre Eurobolt 4 with a little bit of a twist. Let's check it out. This is my Spectre Eurobolt 4. Featuring a compact alder body with a gorgeous flame maple top, as well as a deeply set roasted maple neck with 24 frets at 34 inch scale and beautiful pearl inlays. This is a gorgeous instrument. Now stock, these bases feature Aguilar Electronics with an Aguilar PJ pickup set and an OBP2 preamp. You down with OBP? I'm down with the OBP. However, as you guys probably noticed in my last video on this bass, there was some weird noise coming from it, and it wasn't the jazz pickup on the Aguilar set, which is noise cancelling. It was actually coming from the P pickup, and it wasn't the pickup itself, but the push-pull pot that was included with the whole preamp setup. I was getting really frustrated diagnosing it and trying to make it go away, so I just ripped out the stock electronics. Carefully, I didn't actually rip it out. I carefully removed them, and I installed the EMG Victor Wooten pickup set. Um, they're not a signature series, but they are the uh, X-series PAX and JVX pickups, which are the same type that he uses in his Federa, as well as the BTC preamp, which is a two-band stack. After replacing the electronics, this thing is dead quiet, and I love the result. Now, let's flip this thing around real quick and see what it looks like from the back. So behind here, you can see that there is a very large control cavity, though no dedicated battery box, and a really deep neck pocket with five bolts here. You see that the, uh, the neck almost extends <laughs> almost halfway through the body, probably about one third, which is, which is pretty intense. So this neck is on there. The roasted maple neck is a three piece and it is a satin finish. There is no uh, gloss on it and it feels really nice. The profile of the neck is a rather, it's a Stingray-esque profile because they do share a 41.3 millimeter nut width, though the profile of the neck itself is a bit fatter than a Stingray, though still comfortable in my opinion. Up at the headstock, you'll see that they're using Spectre lightweight tuners, though in my opinion, these aren't the best tuners in the world. I'm personally gonna replace these with some hip shots after I finish this review, but uh, I wanted to include the stock tuners on this video. Now I know what you guys are wondering, what does this bass sound like? You guys know what you need to do. Go ahead and hit that like button so my hand will turn back to normal. Thanks. Not bad, not bad. And it's dead quiet. Now the controls here are a little bit different than the stock configuration. We have a volume volume like the typical Spectre setup. However, we have a master tone and then a bass and treble stack with the BTC preamp. So the controls are volume volume, tone, and bass treble. These pickups are active as well as the tone control and the preamp. So everything you see here is fully active, no passive components. <laughs> I really like the voicing of these pickups and I like the flexibility that's gained with the BTC preamp paired with it. So there's going to be a lot of tones to go over here and again I know this isn't the stock configuration but I was so fed up with the noise that I was getting from the stock electronics that I just had enough. So first let's check out these pickups individually and start out with the neck pickup. Here's the neck pickup with the tone at 100% and the preamp centered. <laughs> Not bad. I really like these pickups. I like them a lot. <laughs> I 
I also like the placement of the pickups on the Eurobolt, where the P is actually pushed back quite a bit, and then the J is right against the pickup. The tones that I get really remind me of my old Warwick thumb that I had over 10 years ago. <laughs> Now let's go ahead and turn down the tone to about 50%. And here's the tone all the way down. Let's go ahead and turn the tone all the way up and play with this EQ a little bit. Here's the EQ centered. And let's turn it down all the way. I really like the BTC preamp a lot. I appreciate how it doesn't take away too much character from the instrument, even at full cut. And then it boosts just the right frequencies and you do have some control on the treble control with the two dip switches that are in the, uh, on the PCB of the stack here. So in the control cavity, you can access those two dip switches and tailor the treble control a bit more to your liking. So ton of versatility in this combo here. Now let's go ahead and center the bass control. <laughs> and here's the bass control at 50%. And here's the bass control at 100. Not bad, not bad at all. It's definitely not too boomy, and it does give a nice amount of oomph there, which is appreciated. Now let's go ahead and cut that all the way and bring the treble up to center. Very nice, very nice. Definitely not too harsh with just the treble control at center. Let's go ahead and boost it and see if that stays true. Here's the treble at 50%. <laughs> Not bad. And here's a hundred. Let's go ahead and boost the treble and the bass to 50% and cut the tone to about 50%. Very nice, very nice. Here's the tone at about 75%. And let's see how this P pickup slaps. Not bad. 
go ahead and bring the tone all the way up, center the preamp, and move on to the bridge pickup. <laughs> So that was with the preamp centered and the tone at 100%. Let's go ahead and turn the tone down to 50. bring that all the way up and play with this preamp. Here's the preamp centered with just the bridge pickup. And let's cut everything. And here's the bass control centered with the treble cut. And here's the bass at 50%. Let's go ahead and cut that and bring the treble into the picture. Beep, beep, beep. Boop, boop, boop. Here is the treble control centered with the bass all the way cut. And let's go ahead and boost that to about 50%. Not bad. Now let's go ahead and bring the neck pickup back into the picture and check out both together. Very nice, very nice. So that was with the preamp centered and the tone at 100%. Let's bring the tone down to 50. And here's the tone all the way down. Let's bring that up, and here's the preamp centered. Here's the preamp cut. And now here's the bass centered. And 
and here's the bass at 50%. <laughs> Now let's cut the bass and bring the treble up to center. And here's the treble at 50%. Treble at a hundred. Let's go ahead and bring that down to about 50% and bring the bass up to center. And take the tone down to about 75%. <laughs> I like the setting a lot. Now let's see what this thing sounds like with a little bit of slap. <laughs> Keeping the setting, I'm going to go ahead and throw some drums behind this. <laughs> so here are my final thoughts on my Spectre Eurobolt. Now obviously this is not the stock electronics configuration, and I am frustrated that I did have to go through so much effort just to one, figure out what was going on, and then two, just end up replacing everything. Um, I know I could have gone through the warranty and like contacted Spectre and then sent it to them and all that jazz, um, but that is just more of a headache, honestly, and would just hold things up further. So I just went ahead and swapped out the electronics for these EMGs, as I mentioned before. I can still evaluate the build quality and whatnot in its stock form, and uh, I am going to subtract a point for the issues that I had with this instrument, but overall, this is a great bass. This is a fun little bass. If you like compact bodies and a more nasally, trebly, funky tone, this is right up your alley. I like the pickup placement and how it's different from regular Spectres, um, where everything is kind of pushed back a bit. And I really like the aesthetic of the deep neck pocket as well as the functionality behind it. The stock electronics sounded great. And again, the only reason I replaced them was due to an electrical gremlin that was giving me a lot of trouble. If you check out my other video, which I'm going to go ahead and link in the description below, you'll hear some hum, especially when dealing with the P pickup and the treble control. P 
speed pickups should really be silent. And it's not the pickup's fault as I did swap out the pickup and I narrowed it down to it being an issue with the push-pull knob. There could be some wiring issue there, maybe a bad solder point, but the OBP series of preamps is a bit of a flying spaghetti monster when it comes to wires, and I didn't really want to mess around with that any further. So I decided just to take it all out and throw in these EMGs. Speaking of the EMGs, I really like these pickups. I think they sound great. Now, they're not Victor Wooten signature pickups, but they are sold as a Victor Wooten set by Best Bass Gear, and they are the same pickups that I believe are in one of his Foderas. I believe it's the Ying Yang Bass. Uh, these are really nice pickups, and I think they pair nicely with the BTC preamp. Combined with the active tone control, you get a wide variety of tones out of this instrument. And I think this is much better than the stock configuration, so I'm very happy with the end result, and I'm definitely going to be keeping this bass. So what am I going to rate? The Spectre Eurobolt 4? Ugh. I'm going to go ahead and rate this bass. Three claws out of five. I would have given it four had I not had the electrical issues that were really frustrating and disappointing. Outside of that though, the build quality is great. I really like this instrument and how it feels. Um, and I like what I did with the pickups here and I think that really completed, completed it. So uh, I'm very happy with the end result of my mods. However, uh, I was a bit frustrated with the instrument in its stock form, at least my example your mileage may vary. Hardware-wise, I thought the stock hardware is okay, with the bridge being a very nice high-mass bridge, but the tuner is feeling a little bit cheap. And on top of that, the Spectre knobs that they're using are cheap plastic push-on knobs. I wish they used something more premium for a base that cost this much. And this much is $1,699 brand new. These are pricey bases, and I expect a little bit more out of an instrument that has that big of a price tag. That's why I'm going to give it the three claw rating. However, the build quality is very premium. I do very much appreciate the roasted maple neck, and that it's not over roasted like all the Ibanezes and Quartz of uh, today are right now. So overall, this is a nice... <clears throat> so overall, I think this is a really nice base, but an average value. Well, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, everyone. Be sure to like, subscribe, join our Discord, and leave a comment down below and let me know what you think about my Spectre Eurobolt with EMG X pickups. And as always, until we groove again.